you from a new video, Mossman, Zach the Mossman Daggy. And welcome to another edition of The Midnight Spook Show, your online source for all the horror news, reviews, and interviews that you can scream at. And uh, for this edition of Midnight Spook Show, it's another edition of The Vault. Now, of course, The Vault is uh, the editions of Midnight Spook Show where I recommend some deep cut horror films. These are the films that you got to check out if you are a horror film junkie. And uh, the film that uh, is going on the vault today is uh, the film Dead Alive uh, from 1992. Uh, or if you live overseas in New Zealand and such, you may know it better as Brain Dead. Now, the reason this film I am considering vault worthy is uh, because... Peter Jackson, the guy behind Lord of the Rings and the recent King Kong remake, and also the Lovely, Lovely Bones and such, uh, before he made it big as a mainstream director, he was a horror filmmaker. And uh, the quintessential horror film that he made was Dead Alive. Now, Dead Alive is a horror comedy, uh, very much in the vein of the Evil Dead series. It stars Timothy Blame, I think I'm pronouncing that right, it's either Blame or Palm. Uh, he's from Planet Man, Headlong, honestly, I haven't seen him in anything since uh, Dead Alive, but I'm sure his career is thriving. Um, and it also uh, stars... Diana, a name I'm not uh, butcher, Patalarver, something like that. She was in Photos and The Thing of Love. Now, the plot line is pretty simple. A rat monkey, uh, never heard of it before this film, I think they're pretty fake, <laughs> um, bites an overbearing mother. She becomes a zombie and hijinks ensue. Now, uh, the whole thing takes place in the 1950s, so it's got that uh, doo-wop vibe in some of it. You see greasers, or particularly zombie greasers later on. And um, it, the vibe works pretty well. It's a very much a dark slapstick film. Uh kind of has some uh, dark, evil, Three Stooges vibes to it. Um, the thing that's really the most noticeable, though, of all about this film is, uh, it is gory. I mean, this is probably one of the goriest movies I have ever seen. I mean, it's very fake gory, so it's not realistic at all, but man, is it nauseating. If you have a weak st stomach of this movie, like The Plague, but if you can get past all the fun gore... <laughs> Um, it is a decent dark comedy. Um, and also, one, just kind of, for the movie uh, fanatics out there, kind of a cool segment in it, in it is the opening of it on Skull Island, a la King Kong. It is pretty close to the opening of Peter Jackson's King Kong. It's eerie and very cool. So, um, like I said, if you are a fan of zombie films, if you are a diehard horror film, or a fan of Peter Jackson's, check out Dead Alive. Uh, it is definitely a deep cut, not for everyone. Um, but like I said, for the horror junkie, you have to see it. So until next time, Moss Maniacs, I'm your friendly new media Mossman advising them on watching great horror films. Be sure to turn it up and turn out the light. Cheers. This episode of Midnight Spook Show was made possible thanks to Angie's List. If you're looking for the best Doctor, plumber, caterer, or any other type of contractor 
look no further than Angie's List. Angie's List has rankings on some of the best and worst contractors in your area as rated by your peers. And tell you what, Moth Maniacs, Angie's List digs you, the Moth Maniac, and so they're going to give you 25% off of your subscription when you sign up over at Angie's List dot com forward slash moth and yes indeed midnight spook show is proud to be a paid affiliate of angie's list